before I start the video, I want to say that to check out Unsafest Mantra's channel. I have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. He, he does gaming videos and they're pretty awesome and they're funny. He's one of my friends at school and you should really check him out. I mean, he's really cool. So please subscribe to him. Please watch his videos. And I'll, and uh, if you want to check out his channel, the link will be in the description below. So yeah, let's begin the video. Hey, since the Worldwide Day of Play is coming up, uh, I just decided to make a rant on it. And this is my rant on the Worldwide Day of Play. If you don't know what the Worldwide Day of Play is, it's this like event that Nickelodeon does. And uh, before I start the video, Oh, well, I'm already starting the video. I messed it that early, but let me just say something. I love Nickelodeon. I freaking love it. It's my favorite network. And, I mean, I even like it more than Adult Swim. I grew up with Nickelodeon, even when it was sucky. Even, I I have so much nostalgia for it. It was like back then in the, when Fanboy and Chum Chum was out. I hate Fanboy and Chum Chum. But around those times was like my age for Nickelodeon. Even though those shows in that time sucked, I, I, when I was like four years old, I did really enjoy it. And that's basically what I watched throughout my whole, whole like preschool years, kindergarten years, first grade years. Even before preschool, I would always watch SpongeBob and Nickelodeon. And I just have so much love for Nickelodeon. Even some of the shows that I watched back then was terrible. I still have heart for Nickelodeon. And the Nickelodeon Worldwide Day of Play. This is an example why Nickelodeon is dying. Why the heck are they doing the Nickelodeon Worldwide Day of Play? The Nickelo if you don't know what the Nickelodeon Worldwide Day of Play is, it's, when, it's like this event where it's a three hour block. It's gonna be like somewhere in September. like this year and it's like this three hour block where there's nothing they show nothing but this repeating message no commercials just nothing just this repeating message says that uh go outside and play and it's an event where they have no programming on they have no shows on and nothing on and the reason why they do it so you could go outside and play and it's for three hours that's so long three hours with no shows okay the problem with this is that Nickelodeon why are you making kids go outside what if they just want to stay in and watch cartoons what if it's storming outside what if they have a stomach flu and they're sick I mean if you have the stomach flu you can't just go outside and play no you're gonna throw up it all over outside so what are you gonna do? I don't know what to do. Just switch your Cartoon Network. Yeah, your rival. Yeah. If you're if you're just gonna turn all your shows off, I'll just switch it to Cartoon Network. But you know what? You know what? At least they have shows like fully on there. I mean, just why? There's no point for this. There's just no point for you just to turn three hours off of your programming. Just so kids could go outside. You know who's supposed to tell kids to go outside? Their parents. Nickelodeon, you're not your kid. You're not the kids' parents. Don't tell them what to do. I mean, what? If, like guys, I said, what if it's storming? What if it's like, you know, what if you're sick? And all you, or what if you just want to watch cartoons or live action sitcoms or like iCarly? What if you just want, or SpongeBob? What? What if you just want to watch shows? And what if, like, okay, this takes place in the afternoon, but what if in the whole morning you were working so hard, and then afternoon you just want to take a break or watch some Nickelodeon shows? And then they have this three-hour block of nothing, no shows at all. Nickelodeon, you don't have to do this. You're a TV network. TV networks are supposed to have, like, shows. Like, just put shows on it. And their parents, their parents could tell them what to do and if they need to go outside or not just Nickelodeon even I 
if I was the owner of this TV network, I wouldn't be like, okay, we're just going to shut off uh, three hours of our TV programming just because so kids could go outside. No. That's stupid. Man, I'd rather have Fanboy and Chum Chum on than this. And I'm not kidding. That awful show. Or even Sunday and Craig. Because there's no reason for this to exist. It's terrible. It's pointless. And this is coming in September. Hopefully this is the last Worldwide Day of Play. Because this is the most pointless event that you guys do. I mean, I'd rather even have Nick Noose on. Nick freaking Noose. And all you guys is like, Oh, I mean, we're just going to put three hours off of programming so you guys could play. No. That's wrong. What if they're sick? What if it's raining outside? What are you going to do? You have to stay inside. And you know what? I'll just switch to Cartoon Network if I want to watch, uh, like, cartoons. Yeah, I'll just switch you to Cartoon Network. You like that, Nickelodeon? You like that? The Nickelodeon. This, this, well, this is an example why Nickelodeon's dying. So please, Nickelodeon, please, uh, don't do Nickelodeon Worldwide Day of Play anymore. Thank you. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and beware of the Nickelodeon Worldwide Day of Play in September. And also, check out Unsafest Mock Just if you uh, like gaming videos. And yeah, and also he's my friend from school, and he really wants some people to check out his channel, and his channel will be in a link below. So yeah, bye.